Welcome back to the Pursuit of Accuracy and welcome back to the beautiful Gadsden shooting facilities. And I have two premium rim fires in this bag that's kind of poking out that we are gonna pit against each other. And we are going bolt versus semi. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna shoot some groups on steel at 200, 300, and 400 yards. So without further ado, let's show you today's contenders. So the first rifle we have is our Voodoo 360. This is a very premium bolt action rifle. This is my Competition 22. Now it's not exactly lot tested right now, but I am shooting some very good 10X out of it. Now it doesn't have the best SDs and ESs, so once it starts getting out there, it does open up a little bit vertically, but I will be heading to Kilo Shooting Sports that is the one place in the United States where you can lot test Ely 10X ammo. And I will be going there next month and we're gonna be taking you with us. So most of you already know the deal with this rifle. MDT ACC, Track Torque, ELR, Timney Hit. We've got the Bullet Bag Rider here. Love that guy so far. Uh, we'll have a kind of update on some new gear. We are running the Brant built uh, anti-cant device that works with your Send It, um, whether it's MV3 or the older models. Like I said, Complete video on that later. Let's look at our semi-auto rifle. This is the KID 1022. Now this is a 1022 pattern rifle. This is built by KID. It shoots amazingly well for a semi-auto, but we have this KID rifle topped with this Track Torque LR. So this is kind of the little brother to the ELR. A little bit less internal travel, same great glass, same great controls, a little bit less magnification. But for this rifle, this was really intended to be a fun kind of hunting and plinking rifle that we're gonna shoot out to maybe 100, 200 yards. And of course, today we're gonna double that and shoot at 400. So to keep things a little bit more fair, we're not only gonna run the accuracy, we're gonna come back to 200 yards and we're gonna run a speed kind of PRS style match where we're gonna pit the semi-auto 22 up against the bolt action competition rifle and we're gonna do two shots per. We're gonna do two, move, two, move, two, move, two. And we're gonna time that and we're gonna see which one runs out faster. Now, obviously the 20 pound competition rifle is gonna be way more stable shooting small targets off of a bag or a prop, but this is about raw speed. So let's get straight into the accuracy shooting. We'll put the drone out there and we'll see what we can do. All right, so this is gonna be no frills. We're gonna start with the Voodoo at 200 yards. We're gonna shoot a five shot group. We're gonna go to the kid, shoot five. Kestrel says around 6.7. So I'm gonna aim right at the red dot. Good elevation, just right. That was in the dot. That one, I believe, hit right in the same spot. That one in the center of the dot. There we go. So we had one. Looks like the wind took that one, but then we have the other four that are in there pretty good. 6.7, so this is gonna be pretty fast and furious. We are shooting the Ely semi-auto bench rest out of this. It had the best SDs. So we're gonna see where we're at. We may need to do like kind of a makeup for this guy, but we're gonna aim at the same spot. It's like just low and right. Couldn't tell. All right, so there is five at 200. Back to the bolt action, 300 yards. All right, we're gonna hold straight on the middle dot and we're gonna see what happens. I could not see that. Oh, I think I see it. A little high and right. All right. We're going to have the same exact point of aim, that center dot, and we're going to see what happens.
All right. We're gonna reload some mags and we're going to 400 yards. Okay, so 400 yards. We are looking at 18.8 mils. So not a problem dialing for this setup. We're gonna hold a little left um, because the wind has been kind of pushing right. All right, so I'm gonna hold left edge, dead center of that diamond and see what we get. All right, I can't see it from here. But nevertheless, there's five out of the voodoo. All right, 400 yards. It's all on the kid, the semi-auto. Can it compete? So we need to hold 11.8 mils. Oof. <laughs> Quite the hold. There we go. So that should be five shots at 400 yards with a semi-auto, 22 non-tested ammo, and I really don't know how well it did, but there is one more test that I want to try, and let's see if we can use the speed. We'll bring it back into about 200 yards. It is getting warm out here, but all right, so we're starting on the bag. So three, two, two one, one, go. go. On safe. Here both those hits. The bench. On safe. Back to the rock. Last Can't two. Can't tell if it's hitting the first shot on any of those. Well, I find myself at a little bit of a disadvantage right now for this closer. I have no way of looking at the drone footage of the targets to see which one shot better. I kind of purposely left the magnification down on this optic so that it was more comparable to the Track Torque LR. And I really didn't want to see what the groups were doing because I didn't want that to sway me into trying to make one finish out above the other. So I'm going to leave it up to you guys. You let me know who you think won both the speed and the accuracy and the overall between the Voodoo 360 bolt action rifle or the semi-auto KID 22 long rifle. Thank you guys for watching. I appreciate you. We'll catch you on the next one.